Yeah, hello everyone. I'm on a road trip, quite a big one. Um, I'm driving from Amsterdam to Albufeira in the south of Portugal. And I thought it would be nice to see how the charging experience will be driving that uh, distance. So I just entered the route um, for this trip. It's like, what is it? I don't know how many kilometers it is. Can I see that? Well, I think it's like 2,500 kilometers. As you can see, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven charging stops prepared for me. I'm a little bit surprised that he already starts charging. Well, just I don't know what is it uh, in Meerkerk. So that's I'll be arriving there with 70%. I think that's a bit strange because uh, why would I want to do that? Um, so I've driven this route before two times, but I've never uh, recorded it. But I thought it would be nice uh, also for you guys to see. How does the planning go? How easy is it to charge? Um, in my experience, it's quite difficult to charge in France and also in Spain, in Portugal. I had some troubles the first year I was there. The, the second year, I uh, I had my apps in place and it was easier. But yeah, in practice, I find myself charging at Tesla charges a lot because it's just so easy. Um, but what I do want to do is charge overnight. Uh, at hotels wherever I'll stay because you know it's better for the battery it's convenient um, so probably during the day I'll be charging Tesla chargers and during the night hopefully something else but we'll find out as we go along um, so I'm on the way to Utrecht I'm not gonna do this first charging stop that he offers me at Meerkerk um, because you know I'm not gonna travel all the way to uh, Albufeira anyway in one straight go. I have a I have planned to make a stop in Lille in France in the north of France close to Belgium um, and it's like five o'clock today so five o'clock in the afternoon so I'll be there like eight nine o'clock. This is what a better route planner has planned for me also there the first charging stop is before Lille with 15% left according to him um, but again as I said I want to see what happens if I enter Lescan, which is the airport, uh, Lille Airport, which is probably where I'm going to stay somewhere in that area. And if I don't find a if I don't find a hotel with a charger there, it's not an issue because there's a supercharger uh, there as well. So then I'll just charge tomorrow morning when I leave again. Uh, so I won't have any issues. So this is now what it comes up with going to Lille still does want to charge a bit further to the south now almost Belgium uh, oh it's recalculating as we speak let's see what happens okay not a lot okay now something happens I think now the figures we can just make it yeah nine percent will be arriving there okay I think that makes sense uh, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think he now just yeah again he, he wants to charge at Meerkerk now, which I don't want. It's even starting to precondition, uh, so I'm gonna say that I don't want to have any charging stops in here because I don't want it want it to waste energy on uh, preconditioning the battery. I just want to go and travel to Lille without any charging, then charge there overnight and continue the trip tomorrow. Uh, so I'll be back once I uh, once I'm in Lille. Yeah, so it's a bit dark here, I think. But uh, okay, I made my first sanitary stop. I've driven 228 kilometers. Um, already, the estimate of my stop is now higher at 18 percent, which is also because I drove a little more efficient than. My car anticipated which in turn comes because i was driving well a bit more efficient than i normally do normally i'm a bad efficient driver but i put my uh, uh, acceleration on uh, on chill uh, i made sure my tires were at the good the good pressure for this long trip you know that's important of course 
uh, and now comes the question of what I'm what am I going to find when I uh, land at my hotel so I picked a hotel which should have electric vehicle charging option now if I check on um, on uh, charge map it's this hotel here Mer Mercure little airport so the hotel's own charging station apparently is uh, not working at least that's what charge map says then there's another one nearby which should be working and there's another one across the street at another hotel which also should be working then if I check in Shell Recharge which is quite up to date so if you remember this hotel apparently the, the the charging station of the hotel is not even on this thing here the other one there has a price per kilowatt hour but the one is occupied I see and this one has a price per minute I think yeah which is less optimal for me I think because then I have to move my car again so well I, I, I hope I can charge here if not even better I can charge at the hotel but that charger doesn't exist according to Shell Recharge so let's see what we find once we get there okay so I arrived at my hotel um, I drove 295 kilometers with an average consumption of 170 watt hours per kilometer I still have 13% of charge left and they do have chargers here at the hotel um, but my Shell Recharge app doesn't know them so he cannot charge with it I assume um, however when I look on Google I see this charging station as well and when I click on it it tells me that it's compatible with ENBW mobility plug serving and one more I don't know which, which the one more is but I do know that I have plug serving so let's see if I can charge with that if not with any of the other cards and if not okay I'll have to find another solution okay it took me for ages but I'm charging I had to download the app enter my credit card information then starting the charge by scanning this number here this one actually and then because it was the first time using this credit card I had to give my credit card information again okay whatever um, I'm charging oh that's not very fast so what are we doing here eight and the emperors okay 11 hours okay should be fine at least I won't have problems with uh, having my car being here plugged in without charging because it will charge for 12 hours. Alright, happy as I am.